Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. We are going to be making a part that gradually changes color depending on the time of day. And uh, this will not be a smooth color transition because due to uh, Roblox's limited color palette for parts. Just note that if your color transitions don't look smooth, it's because the brick color system does not have all the colors inside a color 3 object. So anyways, let's get started with the scripting. So first of all, I have a little script inside my server script service, which just increments the clock time by 0.5 every one second. Now this is going to make the time progress. And this is the script that actually does the part color changing. So you can see there's a lot of math here, which is why I'm just not coding this on the spot right now. Um, so you're going to want to make a script inside the part that you want to change. You're gonna set the two variables, namely day color and night color, and they're gonna be both color three values. You can do from RGB, or you can just do like dot new with the color picker and stuff. So uh, I have a day color and I have a night color, and if you don't want to type this out, the code is in the description in a paste bin. So what I have here is a while loop that waits every one second. So Every one second, it'll check if the uh, time has changed, and it'll set it to the color that matches that time. So uh, there's a lot of math here. So um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then it's fine. You can just copy the code. This part doesn't really matter. The math doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to run through it quickly just to give you a sense of how it works. So first of all, uh, there is a variable called difference, and this is set to the absolute value of 12 minus the current clock time divided by 12. So what this does is it gets the distance, this part to the left of the division, gets the distance away from 12, which is noon, or the lightest time of the day. So this is the top of the day, and you're trying to get the difference between how far away is the current time from 12, or noon. And we're going to take the absolute value of that because we don't want a negative. And we're going to divide, by, divide that by 12, uh, and you're going to see why we do that later. Now, three variables, each similarly named, just a different color band in each one, are red, blue, and green. So in each one, we have the absolute value of the color channel in the day color minus the difference, which is this variable up here, times the... the uh, difference between the day color and the night color so this gets like how much how different so like, this gets uh, the distance between the day color and the night color or like how much it changes between these in one singular color band and we're going to get the absolute value of that so this is basically how much it has to change to go from uh, night to day and we also have the difference which is the um, how much time is uh, how far away is the current time from 12 divided by 12 and this will be like a decimal number so we'll get how much percent are we away from the noon and then we will time we will multiply that by the uh, change in the two different colors to get how much we want to change the night color I mean the day color to get the current color so we're gonna subtract this uh, this value from the red channel of the day color to get the current times color. And we're going to repeat this for the two other variables, which is blue and green. And we'll make a new color 3 value with our uh, red, green, and blue channels. And then we'll set the uh, script's parent, which is the part. We're going to set the brick color to the new color via brickcolor.new. And of course, like I said, it's not going to be a smooth transition, it's just going to be general, it'll switch colors, like, pretty suddenly, because uh, the brick color system just is lacking a lot of colors. And uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this clock time thing, because I don't need it. Now I'm gonna, just going to test this, uh, so I'm going to run right now. And you can see right now it is night time, but if we wait a little bit, it should be, you can see the cube the part just turned lighter it's now red and you can now see that it's orange 
And at the top of the day, it is red, full red, and then it goes back uh, to orange later in the day. Wait for the sun to come down again. You can see that it turns back to orange and darker orange, and it turns green. So that's what I'm talking about, the brick color thing. But like this, this just works to change the part color depending on the day. Uh, sort of gradually, so yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.